Hey, it's Justin on 1017 The Beach, another edition of the 1017 Project, which in my mind is sort of like us building a quilt. Uh, and each tile of that quilt is a different local community member or local organization that's making a positive impact to our area. Um, thank you very much to Terry Beanstalk. He's the president of the Hamptons Observatory Group uh, for taking time to uh, sit down with me, at least virtually through Zoom, to talk about what the Hamptons Observatory is. Uh, Terry, how are you? Good? I'm great. How are you, Justin? Thank you for having us. Of course. I'm doing great. I want to shout out to Donna. Donna actually got us uh, connected. Uh, she reached out to us to uh, let us know what you guys were doing. It's been a crazy past couple of months for everybody. Um, the it's elephant, what we do. <laughs> yeah, the elephant room, of course, is uh, coronavirus and how it's impacted every business, every, anything you can imagine has been impacted. Um, so, Terry, first of all, I guess we can start from the beginning. Ignoring the elephant in the room a little bit, tell me, what is the Hamptons Observatory and what does it seek to do? So about 15 years ago, uh, Jay Schneiderman, who's now you know, town supervisor in Southampton, had the idea when he was county legislator to buy a, a professional telescope, install it somewhere in Montauk, and, uh, and take advantage of the dark skies that we have here. Uh, we ended up doing it privately instead of through public funding and ended up buying the largest uh, uh, professional grade telescope on Long Island. Uh, we've been operating for 15 years. We're located now at the Ross School. We have an observatory there with a telescope, uh, and we have a lot of other telescopes. We do, uh, we do a lecture series all year, all, all year round, uh, generally about one, once a month, uh, where we have a, an astronomer, or a, a, an author uh, talk about some aspect of physical sciences, astronomy mostly. Uh, we also do uh, star parties where we, uh, at night, we're, and we do them all around the South Fork, uh, everywhere from Montauk to Southampton. And we, we rotate the lectures and the star parties so that uh, we'll bring telescopes with us. Uh, astronomers, professional astronomers will show uh, the public you know, the, the night sky and uh, what they can see. Or they can, people can bring their own telescopes. We also do have our own portable planetarium. We do planetarium shows for kids. We'll do them at schools, camps, etc. cetera. Uh, so we have a, a whole host of uh, live events. Uh, thus, the problem with COVID, uh, it just stopped everything in this track with live events. So we've been doing virtual lectures online uh, uh, that we've been doing over the last couple of months. Uh, and we're going to continue with those until we can start going back to live, uh, live events. The last thing I want to say is all of our events have been for 15 years and still are free to the public. We don't charge for anything. We're wow. Donate, you know, donor supported. So for anyone who wants to support what we're doing, and we've done hundreds of lectures. Uh, and we get great attendance. We get between 50 and 150 people come to our events. Uh, last year, we did a great event with the uh, commander of the International Space Station uh, who came and wow. spoke at Guild Hall. And we packed two lectures, one for kids, one for adults, both were standing room only. Uh, again, all, all free for the public. So uh, hamptonsobservatory.org. Uh, we used to be called the MontauksObservatory.com, uh, so you can go to either, and it'll direct you to the same site, and you can donate online. That's incredible. Okay, so these these events, which I, there are two things that I want to make sure that I, I asked about. The first was whether or not these events were free, because there's so many of them. The answer to that is it's entirely free to go. The other thing I want to ask you is um, when you see when you when people read things about educational services and stuff like that, you usually think of just for kids. You think of just children going. Um, but it seems like this is of interest to almost anyone, any age group, and as anyone who has a curiosity about space or about the stars or the sky or science uh, would probably find an event that they'd enjoy. Absolutely. We try to gear our events to different age groups. So the lecture series are generally geared more towards adults, although we get kids come to them. But most of them are a little advanced. You'd have to probably be like a high school student or at least a middle school stu student to appreciate them. But we have events just for kids that are the, the planetarium shows. We have an inflatable dome and we have a planetarium uh, uh, projector and we, we give a tour of 
the, the stars uh, virtually. But then when we do the star parties, that's for all ages. That sounds very fun. Hamptonsobservatory.org, right? That's the website. Yes. Um, yeah. uh, another question I have coming up, we're heading toward the fall. Now things are up in the air with, with schools. And, um, I remember when I was preparing to talk to you, the idea was that if kids weren't going to be at school, there was some extra learning, other activity they can be involved with virtually. What kind of plans do you have in this new normal? Everyone says the new normal, this new normal, this new world that we're at least existing in right now. Uh, what does the Hampton Observatory have coming up? Well, we, we, we're working on a, a series of virtual lectures, uh, online and virtual star parties where we talk about the, you could virtually watch the, uh, the night sky. In fact, we're going to use our telescope. We're finishing, we're doing the finishing touches on making it totally remote operated with cameras so that we could actually access them and do observation online and, and through a, like a Zoom call and show, go look at the Jupiter or go look at Mars or go look at the moon and actually do it live without anyone having to get out of, uh, get off their computer. They wow. can home. Yeah, that's incredible. That's working incredible. on doing the, the software and the hardware integration with the dome and the telescope will have to connect. That's really amazing. So I'm, yeah. I'm talking with uh, Terry Beanstock. He is the president of the Hamptons Observatory Group, Hampton Observatory uh, in East Hampton, correct? Uh, well, uh, you, oh, everywhere. Yeah, the, 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 the building, the, the physical facility is in East Hampton. That's a raw school. That's terrific. And there's tons of events going on and virtual events. So you don't have, yeah. to, you don't have to worry about getting off your couch. You don't have to worry about leaving your computer. You can learn and uh, kind of, I'm as a, as a person, I don't know if I was ever the best science student. I was always interested in science, but I've always been very curious about different things and I enjoy learning. So if you have any sort of curiosity about learning something new, experiencing something new, um, I guess my, my next question, I, I did ask uh, if it was just for kids or for all ages. And there, you told me there's different events for different, for different age groups geared toward different people. Um, do you think that you need to have any sort of scientific background or any real knowledge before attending something? Can you come in blind just knowing yes. when you look up, it's dark at night? Think of watching Nova on PBS. Okay. That, these shows are like that. Wow. They're like that. They're geared to the general public. You don't need a science background. They're not technical. They're more, you know, again, just think of Nova. Very cool. Well, Terry, thank you for your time today. Uh, if you want to get involved, HamptonsObservatory.org. Uh, what if someone wants to volunteer or get involved? Is that a possibility? Yeah. If you go on the website, first of all, sign up. It's free. And you'll get notifications of all the events. Uh, so, so the best, first thing, just sign up, HamptonsObservatory.org. Sign up. Uh, sign up anyone you want to have, get direct notifications. And then you'll know about all the events. And then you can see... On, on the website, what events are coming up. That's terrific. Well, Terry, thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. And we hope that uh, we keep spreading the word about the Hampton Observatory, something that's very cool right here on Long Island, right here in our backyard on the East End, that I feel like uh, this could be something that someone could be really interested in. Maybe someone is, it loves science and they might not know about it. I want to hope that I reach that person so that uh, everyone can take part in these incredible events. It, it, it's been great, and we get great response from the community, from the local newspapers, cover us very thoroughly every all the time. Terrific. Terry, thank you for being here. Well, thank you, Justin.